Welcome to the vlog. <laughs> Entire Pelion will have heard it. <laughs> There's an echo. <laughs> There's an echo. It is so loud. I must have peeked out my microphone right now. My parents were both like, no, please don't. No, please don't. No, you, this is so... Now all of Greece knows I have started the vlog. <laughs> Jason, are you awake again as well? Because you were falling asleep and daddy woke you up, eh? Yes. Hi. We're still in uh, the little house in uh, near Platania. And we're gonna leave with my dad for a second because we need to pick up something from Argelesti. Since my uh, parents make pretty much everything around this house, they built most of the things themselves, they paint it themselves, they also buy the materials themselves for windows in this case, because my dad's gonna make some windows. So we need wood. And that's what we're gonna get in Argelesti. Yeah. Oh, this car feels so small now. Okay. The big bodies. Bumpy road. <laughs> Funny thing is, they're fixing the road, and I recognize the dude that is in the on the tractor here. What happened? What happened? Hey! Who's in the mafia? Hey, see some of you. Hey, see some of you. Hey, see some of that was, uh, we called it Mafia, Spiro. <laughs> and, <laughs> yeah, he was always together with an Austrian girl also. Oh. I know him for years already. He was like the, the first of the guys that we met from Pormeri, which is a village right next to here. And I've known him for so, such a long time. It's funny that I just see him again. He's working on the road here. It's so strange. I know that those, this guy already for 15 years, but it, 15 years ago, I could not talk to him because he doesn't speak English. <gasps> ah. <laughs> you know, and that's, that's such a weird thing. And now I can just like have a quick conversation with him. And was he surprised that you were living in Greece or something? He knows that I live in Greece. That's the thing. Ah, ah look, that's his brother. Funniest thing that you can say here, like, got wood? <laughs> so only a couple of you actually might understand what it means to say got wood. Literally, they cut wood down here and it smells so good. <sighs> and now we've got wood, at least. Fixing it on the roof. It's very safe, believe me. It's super safe to put everything up here. It's just the thing is that most of the roads here, they're so quiet and you just have a little bit of like zigzag roads like this. I wanted to show you, sometimes we forget when we see a door or we see furniture or we see anything made out of wood. A lot of times we forget that it comes from this. And this is so pretty. They just, they, they, these literally are still drying because they, are, they just took the skin off of the trees, you know? It's thick. A very nice tree and it smells so nice if if we only had smell a vision big big trees oh i got resin on my hands that's the only negative or the only downside is the resin smells nice but it's so sticky it's super glue don't fall no nope, i won't fall <laughs> Quick stop in Argelasti for also at Brellas, by the way. We've been here one time before. We needed to get some uh, wood clamps and it's, it, they, they have a new location. I don't know if you're from the area, it may be interesting to know, but this store has everything. Like in, in the Netherlands, we have stores like Gama. It's like Praktiker, you know, we have in Volus. But I think this store has more than Praktiker has in Volus. Everything, oh yes. You can get more and for a better price here as well, a lot of times. Nah, and I'm... the guys are more, they know more about the stuff that they're selling here. Yes, the mechanics, they know, they have no knowledge yeah. here. They know, they know what they're yeah. selling. In a practical, you can ask someone about a lamp and they'll be like, uh, no, I have to ask for a second. It's, it's two o'clock, the gate closes. And, uh, but they don't uh, sell televisions. No, they don't, uh, no, that's what I mean. Like, practical doesn't sell stuff that they should not yeah, be selling. Okay. Yes, I'll look, it's free. Okay. It's a beautiful day. It's a beautiful day, the sun is shining. <laughs> okay, let's go back. Where are you barking so much, huh? Where are you barking so much, pretty dog? Come here. I'm gonna get your stick. I'm gonna get your stick. I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna get it. 
got it. I <laughs> got it. I got your stick, you little bitch. <laughs> yeah, she's a girl, in all honesty, so. Yes. Gotcha. Oh, my mom's making noise that we have to be silent. Is he sleeping? Yes. He's sleeping. It smells like egg in here. Yes. Oh. Are you finally okay with sitting with your grandpa? On the, on the table. table. <laughs> Having some soup? Yeah. Nice. Mm. Very nice soup. What's grandma doing? <laughs> Crazy. <laughs> As I was telling a second ago, but you don't, guys don't see that because I somehow gave the camera to Ilona and then all of a sudden the camera decided to stop filming. Sorry, oh. it was not your fault. It was not Ilona's oh. fault. It was, I was, it was not Ilona's fault. We had a very nice moment of like talking around and... <sighs> what I was saying before, before though, that we walked into the garden, for example, with him and we saw a snake. Th that's a very short version of the long story that I just told. Probably you'll like it more. We saw a snake and I could not get close and I filmed it because I didn't take the vlog. And then I said, we're gonna have a nice cup of tea because my dad's already sitting there. And then we also said that Ilona does like, not like snakes and that we've never seen oh, some before. And, and you said like, yeah. One tonight. Yeah, but you saw snakes before here, scary. you said? Yeah. Okay, and that's pretty much it's what we said. But In a very short version. The other part was like three minutes long. It is now 50 seconds long. <laughs> so we're gonna have a cup of tea. Look at the view for a second. This boy is enjoying it a lot, I believe. I mean, he is enjoying this kind of view at his age. I mean, there's... He doesn't understand it even. I, I hope one day he can ex appreciate it like we can. Oh, he will. Yeah? He's a good boy. You're a good boy. Let's have some tea. Second ago, grandpa and grandma were singing along with a kid's song, but somehow a lot of kids' songs in the Netherlands have changed or they, they, they sound different anyway. We're packing up the car again to head back to Volus. Sadly enough, already we'd just like to stay here for one night, but we also have a big trip coming up and I'm very much excited about that, of course, as well. We'll be back soon here again with other grandpa and grandma. You hear them sing in the back. Oh, Onder Tessa mooi, onder hele hoge bomen, in een groot kabouterbos, staat een heel klein aardig huisje, zomaar midden op het bos. Er moet altijd een pik in het zitten, merk ik al, want dan begint hij een beetje groen van te krijgen. Ja. So the battery of my camera is empty, so I'm filming full with Ilona's phone for a second. But look what's in front of us. It's so cool, except for the dog next to the road here. There are horses in front of us. <laughs> it's so cool. Well, I don't know if it's so cool for the horses, but it's a very normal way of transporting your horse here in Greece, as far as I've learned so far. It looks pretty though. They're pretty horses. We're in Argelasti. Are we gonna get a sausage? Yes? Okay. <laughs> Dead battery, as I already thought so. Uh, well, not dead battery, I had another s spare battery as well, but as you can see, we're back home. <sighs> oh. And uh, give me a second. I have to break, I have to, I have to put a break. <sighs> I had to put the push the pause button for a video I was watching. Wow, words, they're difficult, Jason. Especially for a baby like you. Um, Ilona's in the bedroom cleaning up stuff. We're very dark in here, by the way. It is literally, it's so dark also outside already, but at least we have the street light back again. That's very, very, very good, huh, Jason? Yeah, so we don't need the balcony light on anymore. Maybe a little bit all over the place vlog, but that's because we visited family, my parents, and then I just sometimes shoot some clips and all that kind of stuff, yeah. Yeah. <sighs> okay. Okay. So, um, it's going to be it for the vlog. If you liked it, don't forget to hit the thumbs up button. Leave a comment down below because we love to read them. We always reply. We thank you for watching. I hope to see you next one. Bye. Tell me why'd you have to go and drive me so crazy? Now I feel lost without you, and I just hate.